Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video I'll be showing you how you can install uh, CryAnyB version 3 for Grand Theft Auto IV. As you can see I made a video a little while ago previewing this, showing the differences between van vanilla and the modded version. Um, I said I'd make a installation guide at 10 likes, which we hit, which is great. Um, so today I'll show you how to install that. I'd also like to thank you guys for 300 subscribers, it's really cool. Um, thanks to recent subscribers for subscribing, i uh, shown on the screen here. Okay, let's get into the video. To get started, we'll need to head over to my website, link in description but the link is here if you can't access that. Okay, all we need to click is resources here at the top right hand corner. Scroll down and find Grand Theft Auto IV graphics pack. Click on the blue go button and it should open another tab. Click download. I just want to let you know this is an ad free download. It's got no um, redirect links, it's straight Google Drive, so if you'd like to support the channel, uh, donating is great, but don't feel pressured to do anything of that. Okay, so we'll click download, and it will take you to the uh, Google Drive right here. Go to the top right hand corner and click on the download button here. This may take a bit of time, because it has to process the file first, but it should start downloading. If you're in Firefox, you'll need to click Save File and then click OK. It will start downloading here. It's about 50, uh, 52 megabytes, so depending on your internet connection, it shouldn't be too big. Okay, our download is finished. We will just minimize this for now and head over to where we want to um, extract it to. I've got a file folder here where I'll put that in. We'll go back to our web browser and then open the file here. We're going to go back to our downloads and then move uh, the .zip file into wherever you want to extract it to. I'll move it into this folder here. We can now right click, extract all. I'm just going to not tip that and then click, click extract. We can now close the downloaded folder. Wait for this to extract and then we can get onto adding it to our directory. Okay, as you can see, we've got our uh, folder here. You can delete the old .zip file, that's not needed. We'll open that up, open it again, and then here we've got all the things. I recommend you search up and follow or subscribe to the original authors of the um, resources. Uh, so we've got the HD textures and CryNEB itself. Uh, these are optional but they really do make the game look really good. Okay, so first we're going to install CryNEB version 3. Double click that folder, go to the underscore install folder. Okay, we just need to select all the fold files and folders in here. We can um, unselect howtoinstall.txt and readme.txt by holding control when clicking. We'll right click, copy, open up our GTA IV directory and right click on the folder with your game files in and click paste. Okay, all of those is copied over. Now we just need to select the level of um, how high end you want the uh, graphics to be. Uh, I recommend mid end to high end for normal uh, computers. If you've got a low end PC, mid-end should work, but for older PCs from uh, not too recent, maybe you might have to go with low end, probably not very low end, but that should be fine. We're just going to go the highest for this video just to show it. Okay, we copy the these four files here, but you don't need this uh, random file here. Right click, copy, head over to your directory and paste that in as well. You'll need to replace the four files in the destination. We've done that now, and we can go to the optional presets. You don't need these, but they also do some good stuff. We're going to go to Anamorphic Lens Flare, Blue, 
you can choose whatever you like here, it's basically the same. And we'll just copy and paste this into our directory as well. Replace the file. Okay, now we've done CryNeB, we're going to go to the HD textures. You don't need these for CryNeB to work, but they do look good. We'll go to the HD roads first. And all we need to do is copy gtxd.img, copy that, go to your directory, go to PC, data, CD images, right click paste, and replace the file in the destination. That's all done for that now, and now we're just going to install the HD trees. To do this we just need to select these four files here, right click copy, go to our directory here, click on PC, data, maps, scroll down to props, and then vegetation. Right click and paste this in here and replace the files in the destination. We've now successfully installed uh, the graphics pack. All you need to do now is launch GDA IV. As you can see, we've successfully installed CryNeB as well as the HD textures. As you can see, the trees, roads, and everything look much more high quality compared to the original game resources, and a lot of things have been changed, such as uh, how things look in the distance, lighting, and that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching this video guys, I hope this video has been helpful, if you receive any errors or you can't get it to work, just message me on Discord or type a comment in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching guys, make sure to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.